3ds Max has two types of curve objects. We previously saw editable spline or line objects. We also have the option to build things using NURBS. NURBS is an acronym that stands for Non-Uniform Rational Basis Spline. It's just a different type of mathematical approximation of a curve. It works a little bit differently than you're used to from, for example, Illustrator that has Bezier curves. And with NURBS objects, you can construct surfaces directly from curves all in the same object. And that's how this fancy side table was modeled. We're not going to model the entire thing from start to finish. I'm just going to show you the basics of how it works. If you want to go deeper into NURBS modeling, take a look at my other course, 3ds Max 2016 Essential Training, in which we model this object from start to finish. Here, I just want to show you the basics of how NURBS objects work in Max. I'll select that base, and as soon as I do that, this little NURBS panel appears. This allows us to create points, lines, and surfaces. But we can also do all of the same things from the Modify panel. So this little toolbox here is optional. As you can see, we have different sub-object types here for a NURBS surface. We have curves, curve control vertices, or points and surfaces. So I built up a bunch of concentric circles here and then joined them all together with something called a U-loft. So let's take a look at that. I've got another scene in which all we have are the curves. I'm going to open that now. Go to File Open. I'm not bothering to save. And I want to open up 0506 Table Start. And it's the same scene, really, except for we just have some curves and no surface. I want to create a surface based upon these curves. And once again, the type of surface is going to be something called a U-loft. And we can create a U-loft either from the panel here or from the Modify panel here. I actually prefer to do it from the Modify panel because these icons are kind of abstract and they don't really help me that much. So I'm going to go to the Modify panel and open up Create Surfaces, and you'll see U-loft. Click on that to activate it, and then just click on each one of these points in order. Make sure you progress through them in order and don't skip around. I'm going to start from the bottom and click on each one of these in order. And as I go, you can see that we're starting to create the surface. Got one more up here. And that's it. When I'm done, I can right-click, and our U-loft has been built. If we look at this with edged faces, we can see the level of detail. I'll press F4 on the keyboard, and we can see the actual polygon approximation. We're done with our U-loft tool, so we can right-click to exit out of that. And just quickly look at how to control the level of detail for a NURBS surface. And that's done by going to the Surface Approximation rollout here. Open that up, and we have the approximation of this ideal surface into polygon straight lines. And we have controls for the viewport and the renderer. And they're two separate settings. And this lock button may confuse you. The lock button does not lock the viewport settings and the renderer settings. They're always separate. If I want to see exactly how it's going to render, I actually have to manually set the viewport settings and the renderer settings to identical settings. All right, so I've got viewports active now, which means that if I make some changes down here, I can actually see what that's doing. I've just increased the U and V steps to 2 and 2 using this parametric method. There are other methods of tessellation or dividing the surface up into polygons and you can look in the 3ds Max documentation to see exactly what they all do. Right now, we can just quickly switch over to some of these and see what happens. If I use spatial method, then I can determine the maximum length of an edge. And as I reduce that edge amount, the edges become smaller and the object becomes more detailed. Cool. So I'm actually going to use the parametric method because I think that's going to give me the best results. That's just a really quick overview of how NURB services work in 3ds Max. Again, if you want to learn more about that, check out 3ds Max 2016 Essential Training.